Hello everyone and welcome back to Channel Dead Brian Lape Reads. We're going to do some pop culture back to the movies kind of thing. So this is, um, it's a little, it's a few, it's about a week ago, but uh, I've kind of need to, uh, Captain Marvel kind of went by me and I didn't really pick up on it and because I'm old. So this is from Deadline.com. Captain Marvel 2, uh, is, that, is that Zawe? I guess, Zawe, Zawe, Ashton taps to play villain in Marvel's sequel. As pre-production ramps up on Captain Marvel 2, and there's been all kinds of rumors that Monica Rambeau is going to be in it. In fact, I've got some other articles on that we'll get to as uh, not today, but we'll get to it later. Um, Brie Larson looks uh, to have found her next co-star. Uh, she will be squared off against, as, as sources tell Deadline, Velvet uh, Buzzsaws. I don't know who that, what that means. Uh, Zawe Ashton has been set as the villain. Uh, in the next installment of the Marvel series, a uh, franchise, uh, Nia Da Costa, who directed the anticipated reboot of Candyman, has been tapped as director on the film. Disney and Marvel Studios have no comment. Uh, Megan McDowell, a story editor of on the Marvel-based series One Division, penned the script uh, for the Captain Marvel sequel. Now, this One Division's been pretty good so far, and um, from what I heard, I, mean, I don't have Disney Plus, so I haven't seen it, but. Most people that I know that really hate a lot of other things actually like WandaVision. Um, so this has a chance of being good with Miss Marvel star Amon uh, Villani and uh, there's these names I'm going to butcher to Johan uh, Paris uh, also on board to star. Uh, yeah, I don't like that version of Miss Marvel. We don't need big hands, Miss Marvel. We need the uh, anyway. We're not getting the Miss Marvel we deserve or we want. We're getting the Miss Marvel we deserve. While the exact character is unknown, sources uh, do say Ashton will be the main villain, although she we know. Though, though, as we know with all Marvel films, there is always a chance another antagonist uh, may remain hidden until the very end of the film. Yeah, we've seen that kind of bait and switch. Uh, in this film, uh, Larson's uh, uh, Carl, Dan Carl Carol Danvers uh, was a human who becomes involved in the war between two alien races, the Kree, and they have a shape shifting. And that, in the first film, okay, it really helps if you read the words that are actually there, dude. A surviving explosion, yeah, we know that. Uh, most powerful heroes, uh, making her one of the most. Yeah. Uh, the film was released in March. Okay, that's the other one. Gro grossing out. We'll we'll go with the numbers. Uh, I think there's a lot of monkey business there. And in fact, um, Disney's been charged with monkey business by the government. <laughs> so, uh, Captain Marvel set to bow, uh, is set to bow. I guess or not bow bow on good English same word different pronunciations and different meanings. Uh, 2022. So near the, that'd be interesting. November 11th. That's kind of an odd time. You know, I, I could see Thanksgiving weekend or like three or four days before Thanksgiving weekend, but the 11th of November seems kind of weird. Anyway, uh, Ashton first broke on the scene with her role in the TV series, Fresh Meat. Never heard of it. Uh, she was recently seen on Broadway. Okay. Well, maybe she's a decent actress again, you know, uh, as insufferable as, um, Brie Larson can be at times uh, in, in, in real life. Really, it's give us a good stories. The, the the other one was had elements of a good story. It was kind of stupid, and I know it. It, it put the whole Cree and uh, the shape the scrolls um, kind of bass backwards. It kind of turned everything around, um, which I think was an interesting twist if it was a better written story. And uh, so she's been in, in Velvet Buzzsaw with Jake Gyllenhaal. Okay, so uh, there are some comments. I don't know if I can scroll down enough. Nice. Congratulations. Uh, would she be rogue by any chance? Recently, there was a powerful female antagonist that beat the stuffing out of Carol Danvers before the whole crazy Empire business started. Um, uh, in my, okay, no rogue is white. Who, who knows? Who knows? <laughs> Uh, then maybe Valkyrie, who in Norse mythology could be, uh, could, couldn't be any more white, uh, black for diversity. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the thing, too. I would rather they came up with new characters. Um, only care about this film because Monica Rambeau, she's part of WandaVision. Uh, Nia's first film was great, too. And eh, we'll see. Uh, so we'll see uh, how well this goes. And, um, you know, never you never know with Marvel. Um, it could be great or it could be horrible. Uh, but I, I'm just like, just give us good characters, give us good story arcs and keep the politics out of it. And you, you could cast anybody as anything. If you give us a good story and people will, will flock to theaters. All right. So what do you think of this? You think this is an interesting rumor? Do you think it's true? Uh, if you do think it's true, do you like it? Not like it? Let me know in comments below. Thank you very much. And we will see you. Goodbye. And now the dogs are starting to bark. Of course they have. Um, it's what they do. Uh.
All right. Yeah, we're. I'm so far past time. I'm ready to do this. It's not even funny. All right. Three, two, one.